Hello there, this is Jimbo G, and first of a series of demonstration videos to show you how the uh, interactive checklists that I've put together for Javier Rollins Jetstream 32 uh, works, um, any gotchas you might have, and uh, how to get yourself up and running um, with the Checklister plugin by Snailpup. So before we get stuck into it, um, I have to put my hand up straight away and tell everybody that the uh, Checklister plugin that we use to make this work at the time of recording, which is the 27th of January 2013, is 32-bits um, only at this time. Now, I don't see that as being a major problem at this at this stage. Um, we can hope that when X-bit excuse me, when X-Plane 64-bit goes final, um, that uh, we can hope that uh, the developer Snailpop will consider porting this plugin over to 64-bit. So in the meantime, you're going to have to use 32-bit, um, so please don't moan at me when you can't get it working in 64-bit. So with that out of the way, um, let's proceed. You'll need to have downloaded two files to get this working. The first one is the Checklister plugin, which you can find on the uh, xplane.org uh, forums. Uh, the download section, it's not hard to find. You just download it and inside of the uh, zip file you'll see um, all the bits and pieces that you need. If you go into the plugins 1.1 folder, you'll have the actual plugin file for each of the three operating systems, depending on which one you're using. Um, I'm a Windows user, as you can probably tell. So what I've done is I've copied the checklist of win.xpl file over to my main xplane plugins folder. Exactly the same as you would install any other plugin. So there it is, ready to go. No further uh, steps required on that front. The second file you need to download will be the, the actual um, uh, zip file that contains the checklist itself that I've put together. Um, so we've got an extracted version of that zip file here, and I've dropped some things in there that um, some people will, some people won't read it. It's one of the reasons why I'm doing the, these videos um, are some, some notes on, on, um, on what we're going to do and how it works. But the file that you're really interested in that's going to make this all work here is the clist.txt. If you copy that into the installation directory, the top installation directory for where you've installed the Jetstream 32, as you can see here, um, I've purchased my copy from X Aviation. Um, I've installed it into my, uh, my, my, my standard X Plane 10 install directory, and I've copied the C list into the top directory for where the Jetstream lives. And that's all you need to do to get it working. But there's a second part to this video, and that is um, the workaround that you need to employ to get through um, uh, a potential gotcha that um, I think will affect most people. So it's really important um, that you uh, that you see this, and that is that um, we need to reload the checklist, the plugin, uh, in order to be able to see all of the automatic integration um, that I've built into the checklist. Um, so you get a better experience. So I'm going to demonstrate that in a second, but I need to um, to switch over to explain. So here we go. So here we are in the uh, chat stream. Um, I've placed myself at stand seven at Jersey Airport E G J J. Uh, for those people familiar with the Blue Islands airline. Um, I am using the Blue Islands livery and I'm at uh, stand 7 which is uh, the uh, Blue Islands stand or it's a close approximation to it and uh, we're looking uh, over St. Wands Bay there so as part of the um, demonstration videos I'll do a quick island hop in and around Jersey and Guernsey. So as I described, now that we have the checklist file in our installation directory, the plugin is loaded and it has very kindly um, opened up the checklist for us. Looks great, happy days. But this is where the gotcha kicks in. If I click next to take us from the aircraft acceptance checklist over to the first page of the pre-flight checklist, you'll see that um, down the bottom here we've got a couple of items that are already checked for us. Uh, the two stall vane pito um, um, switches and we can see they're already checked and they've got two little asterisks next to them what's happening here is that the uh, the, the, the checklist to plug in very cleverly um, has the ability to auto detect the position of various switches and the reading of an instrument um, in real time uh, 
data F integration. So we're basically reading the status of these different switches. And what that help lets us do is actually provide a level of automation where um, I'm going to use uh, uh, Hector, as I call him here, my co-pilot, to be able to read out the status of these switches for me automatically. This is great because it will speed up your operations whilst keeping you accurate at the same time. The problem we've got is that um, something to do with the way the plugins are loading into X-Plane to start off with, something gets mixed up or something doesn't finish completely, and although this looks fine, it's not accurate. The, uh, the, the data F integration is only kind of half there. What we need to do is to unload and reload the checklist plugin in order to light up a load of these extra um, um, items that are currently Although looking fine, and you'd go through them manually, um, that's you're missing some stuff that I've built in. So here's what we do: just close that checklist off. We're going to go up to plugins, plugin admin, enable, disable, and you can see all my plugins I've currently got loaded. I'm going to disable the checklist, the plugin, and then re-enable it. And then from the plugins menu under checklister. We can now jump to any one of the checklists that I've built for you guys. And uh, if I jump back to the pre-flight checklist, sure enough we can now see there's a whole load of extra items that have already got um, uh, ticks in the, in the box. So if you trust what the plugin's doing, or should I say what Hector's doing, your co-pilot can already check these off for you so that you don't have to worry about them. You don't. You can double check them if you want, but as you hopefully as you gain more confidence with what you're doing, um, and should I say more confidence in, in what this is doing, um, you will be able to just whiz through them and just go from page to page. So for example, on the pre-flight, there's uh, two pages here. Page one is, there's only a couple of items to look at. Click next and second item, there's only one item to look at. So you can go through the entire pre-flight in 10 seconds. That's the idea. So, what we'll do is we'll get stuck into them in the uh, the next um, the next video. But I just wanted to get this one out of the way um, because I think it's going to raise the most questions and the most gotchas. So, um, thanks very much.